agents in general. I'm here to give my statement on what transpired at the Supreme Court uh, yesterday. And uh, I'm not here to criticize anyone or to attack anyone. With respect to the judiciary, uh, with respect to the outcome. However, I'm here to talk about how the court conducted itself in arriving at the judgment in question. I've seen there are some headlines, our opponents are celebrating, saying this is the end of Sonko. I want to prove them wrong and tell them it is the start of Sonko, not the end of Sonko. So without wasting a lot of time, I want to go to the the matters in question, especially how the Supreme Court conducted itself yesterday. And this should not happen again to any other aggrieved Kenya, not even a politician, Kenya. We remember very vividly the was a preliminary objection filed by the respondents. The respondents wanted my appeal to be struck out by the Supreme Court. They alleged that the appeal was not filed on time. The matter was heard. There was a plan you know, to dismiss my appeal during that time. So the judgment of this case was supposed to be delivered virtually on the 11th day of July. There was a contradiction on how these dates were given. I have a communication here with me, a notice of uh, delivery of judgment from the Supreme Court. First, the judgment was supposed to be delivered on the 8th of July this year. That was on Friday. And I want to make it clear, this was a separate judgment on the preliminary objection on the filing of the appeal, whether the appeal was filed on time. I have a communication with me. You hear from the uh, deputy registrar of the Supreme Court. I made a notice, there was a notice first for the hearing to be, the judgment to be delivered on 8th of Friday, so under the Supreme Court. Then it later changed. From Friday, they gave another hearing notice, selected for 12th, Tuesday, July 2022. Then at midnight of 8th, they brought another Notice for judgment delivery. This time, setting the judgment for 11th Monday, which was a public holiday, which is okay, because the Supreme Court can sit in on, on, on Sunday, depending on the nature of the case. So the matter waiting for judgment, the judgment was delivered on the 11th via email, and I have a copy of that judgment. It speaks for itself. On page three, the judges are saying, we now determine as follows. Paragraph nine, sub paragraph one. There is no doubt that the appealants file a notice of appeal, a denial of appeal on 8th of March, four days after my impeachment dismissal at the Court of Appeal. This is showing some seriousness and commitment that I really find my notice of appeal on time. And the receipts and everything we find on time. Then, paragraph two, the judges are saying there is also no doubt that the appeal and file is petition of appeal, petition of appeal on this court online platform on the 4th, 2022. I was also on time. This is three months ago. 
No. After filing the appeal to the Supreme Court, the next thing was the deputy registrar to give directions to the respondents, our opponents, to file the responses based on the appeal we had filed. But I was shocked immediately after the delivery of this by a five bench judge, namely her lordship, the deputy president of the Supreme Court, Madam Filomena Moelu, Justice Wanjala, Justice Joki Dumu, Justice Renola, Justice Oko. They signed and said that the ruling was okay. Immediately after the delivery of this ruling, Directions were given without going to the records of the Supreme Court that my appeal should, uh, should be had within two days. That is on the 14th. With the delivery delivered on the 11th. So we protested against this position because the normal procedure of the Supreme Court is, and I want to repeat, once we file our appeal, Respondents are supposed to, re to respond and file responses on what we have filed. After the respondents do that, the deputy registrar is supposed to give up directions, instructing us now to respond on the responses filed by our opponents. So by then, the respondents had, had filed nothing. We had also not filed further submissions to respond or to do a rejoinder on what is supposed to be filed by our opponents. At this juncture, we need a protest letter to the Supreme Court, and I have that letter with me, that the 12th July 2022, my lawyer protested and told the Supreme Court, no, it is unprocedural, it is wrong. There are no responses by the respondents and by ourselves. Then I'm happy the Supreme Court responded and did a letter to apologize on this mistake. I'll give you all these letters. And I've got that letter of apology on the 12th. They did this letter on the 12th at around 4 p.m. via email. And the Supreme Court had this to say. The letter is dated to, I mean, addressed to my lawyer Namu. The petition number 11008 of 2022, Mike Mumbi Sonko versus the respondents. And I want to read sentence by sentence because it's just a brief one page letter. Just allow me to, to read sentence by sentence. It's saying, I refer to the above subject matter in which directions were issued on the 11th of July 2022, the same day they, they issued the judgment on the preliminary objection which was really in our favor. Then they are saying it has since come to our attention that due to an advertent mistake, directions were not issued in respect to the petitioner filing submissions in support of the petition. Then they apologize to us. We apologize. This is the Supreme Court, not Sonko. We, we apologize for this oversight and hereby enclose further directions for compliance. You are sincerely, Honorable Leticia Washira, Registrar of the Supreme Court. And this communication is copied to all the parties involved, over more than 11 parties involved. Yeah? Supreme Court admitting the mistake they did to us. They gave a hearing that they didn't put into consideration whether we had filed our responses and the respondents. This was wrong. Now, instead of the Supreme Court giving us time, yeah, because we're not talking about one or two, three uh, affidavit pages, we're talking of over 30,000 pages. And all these 11 respondents, they were supposed also to file their responses. And then we were supposed to file further the joinder of what they, they, they would have filed by those matters. Now, look at the directions which they gave. 
These are the directions of the ports. These are the directions of the ports. The ports. There are two directions, and I want to go to them all of them. The direction of the port they are saying. What are the directions of the port? On the 11th, they were, they were delivering the judgment of the preliminary protection. They are telling the petitioner, do file and serve a soft copy of his submissions by midnight. By midnight of the 12th, but on the 13th. I'll come to that again. Then the respondents are at liberty to file and serve. You remember this was supposed to have been done before they gave a new, uh, the initial hearing. Then the respondents are at liberty to file and serve a soft copy of the supplementary submissions by 10 a.m. 13th July. 10 a.m. We don't know what are their responses. So, but if they file by 10 a.m., we're supposed to take the responses of more than 11 opponents, 11 respondents. We go through page by page. Yeah? Then we reply also page by page and file. So they file by 10 a.m. on the 13th day of July. Then they're telling us also, the petitioner also, to file a rejoinder by noon. Noon of the 13th day of July 2022. Then also another task had just to us all had copies of the file responses and submissions to be available at the court registry before 12, I mean before 2 p.m. on the 13th day of July 2022. This time, the directions are signed by Honorable Menef Pesaburi, a magistrate who is also a deputy registrar, Supreme Court. Now I want to ask one question. How do you tell us to file responses on the 13th by noon <coughs> while the judiciary had given us a notice to appear for yet another judgment in Mombasa court between us and the IBC? And I want also to show the proof of this. This is petition number E. Myself, versus the Returning Officer Mombasa, versus IBC Dispute Resolution Committee, versus IBC itself, and WIPA. And I want to read this. Take notice, the above matter, which was selected for judgment on 15th July 2022, has been rescheduled to Wednesday, the 13th of July, at 10 a.m. in open court. Yeah? This notice merely received it we were not aware about the supreme court uh, uh, directions but on the 12th at night we all left all my lawyers on record we left to prepare for this judgment and remember we are we're also preparing for an appeal in case the the, the court in gerul in uh, not in our favor we are preparing to file the appeal. So at least 10 a.m. we are in Mombasa High Court. Then the Supreme Court expects us also at 10 a.m. to file our responses. And all my team of the clerks were in the High Court Mombasa. So we were denied justice because there is no evidence from our side that was put in court. Remember, there is a certain judge who presided over our was, was the presiding judge and the three bench judge in our impeachment case. I want to mention his name because they are always against us, restraining us from making any comments on social media and everywhere. <coughs> so, there was a matter in the JSC where I was also a witness on my impeachment case against this judge. I want to mention his name. We took our evidence there, it was successful. The Chief Justice herself did a letter, a communication to the to status, to the President, and confirmed that the judge was found guilty. This is the letter sent by Martha Cormet, her Lordship, to the President. 
the judge was actually by impeachment, he was found guilty of gross misconduct. And also state of the president received a communication from the chief justice and took action. There is a tribunal that was formed by the president and the judge was suspended. And remember the investigations. In the investigations, the judge confessed that there was some interference in my case, that he met my opponents in his house. We have a video, a clear video, that there were some officers, some of whom have been fired from the state house, who came to mislead him to change my judgment. Talking with his own mouth. There's a very serious confession. There's, there's are some very dirty clips which are part of the tribunal evidence. And the judge is complicating also his own colleagues. How money is to be shared? He's confessing he has never lost any of his judgments before the Court of Appeal. He's mentioning how he normally takes money to the Court of Appeal. He's mentioning names of his colleagues. He's mentioning names of lawyers who take money to him. He's mentioning how, when he takes money to certain judges, he always gets a commission. These are some of the clips that we play before the judicial, I mean, uh, which, which we played in the JSC. And we're going to play in the tribunal. Another problem. I personally had a problem with Martha Kome. Number one, she went to a public TV station, a radio station, Spice FM, and declared her position that any impeached governor, some could be one of them, he's not supposed to be on the ballot. He's not supposed to lie until that impeachment motion is overturned by the courts. The same Chief Justice, I have a lot of respect for Martha Kome, but I want to tell her she's not about, above the law. As much as we respect her, she's not about to break, I mean, to, to defy the law. She went ahead and commented about any convicted state officer, public officer, he is not supposed to be on the ballot until that sentence is overturned. Then I'm asking a question. The member for Sericia, Honorable Weluke, was sentenced to 67 years imprisonment. What has made him to be on the ballot? When the Chief Justice was releasing these careless comments, was she aware that Weluke was a convict, clear to vote? Was she aware what does the Constitution say about her remarks? I don't have any issues with Weluke, but Weluke was cleared pursuant to Article 99.3 because he had an active mm -hmm. appeal in court, which is ongoing. Yeah. The courts cleared me by virtue of Article 193, sub Article 3, and 193, sub Article 2. Sub Article 2 says if you have been impeached, removed from office uh, on violation of Chapter 6 by any law, <laughs> you still have a chance to vie, provided you still have a pending appeal in the court. And that is the position how we were clear. But my question is, why did the Chief Justice decide to be a presiding judge in my matter while she knew I had an issue about that? I called for a press conference in Mombasa and I protested against her remarks. And on top of that, Chief Justice Martha Kome defied her own order on the BBI case. She issued a warning and order. I have a copy of that order. She warned Ahmed Nasir, the advocate. She warned Harvey. Yeah. There's a certain lady, uh, a lawyer also was warned that in future, do not comment on any case that is pending in court, either on social media, public TV. So she defied her own order. She's supposed to sentence herself six months in prison. She's not about the law. In as much as we respect her, 
her conduct was wrong. And I'm a Kenyan, yeah, defended by the Constitution, which was promulgated in 2010. Another, which I, I might say is a forgery by the Supreme Court. She knew very well we didn't want her to present over my matter because I had an issue which addressed, which is in the public domain. They went ahead and confused us and issued another direction and told us the matter will be listed for hearing of the petition by a five bench judge. And remember, the preliminary objection was delivered by a five bench judge. Martha Kome was not a party to that five judge bench. And if they could have gone with a genuine position by telling us the matter will be heard by a seven judge bench who would have prepared an official refusal application for her to refuse herself. Because she had already formed an opinion that Sonko is not supposed to be on the ballot. So this is a tricky, a dirty trick that they played on us. Why lying to us that my matter will be at we applied verbally because the matter was in the public, in the public domain. She was even criticized by lawyers, LSK members, that she was not supposed to do what she did. And we told your lordship, kindly recuse yourself because you had already declared your interest and position in this matter. She declined. The matter proceeded. The evidence of how this judge messed with my impeachment has not, has not been filed. The evidence of what transpired in the Senate, further evidence and further evidence of the quorum was not filed. So she must have been serving the interest of somebody else. A case which has over almost half a million pages. Hearing, you are hearing, hearing it uh, uh, today. Then within, within 24 hours, you are delivering judgment. Yeah. If we had a case in Mombasa for IBC, then the judges gave us a week to go through the submissions and deliver verdict. Even presidential petitions before the Supreme Court. Yeah. They take time, a week for two weeks. Mm -hmm. And parties are given time to find their response under Article 50. Yeah. We are entitled to fair, fair, fair hearing, fair justice. Yeah. So, when I see the cases in Cambodia, I should like to have a verdict. Yes, you can have parties 14. Within 24 hours, we must be happy every party, every party, every party. So there are so many technicalities here, and the conduct of the Chief Justice was wrong. I respect her, Chapter 2 Pamela Lombaya, I respect the judiciary, all the magistrates, judges, but when there is a problem, there is nobody who is above the law. Kama, mimi na masolzano, ni medhinyu mwa haki. Judge wa mahakama, anasema nili kudhulumu sababu ABCD, na anaongea. Na through the DCI and NSIS, I reported the matter, and I was given a guidance, and he was captured, even sharing money in the chambers. He ni a judge huyu, he ni a judge huyu, na hapa napata commission yangu. A whole high court judge, where we heading as a country. The chief justice of the Supreme Court of Kenya, the president of the JSC, committing on a matter that is pending before court. And she becomes the presiding judge, and she doesn't want to recuse herself. A whole Supreme Court misleading parties. A whole Supreme Court on assembly, you are going to be heard by a fifth bench judge. Then in the morning, you find a seventh bench judge. Presiding judge, you will be on assembly, and you already a Meshambia, a Dunia Muzima, a Lukoko TV, a radio, that impeached governor Hafai Kusmama. I mean, you will be impeached governor. Let us get a verdict based on, on, on justice, not shortcuts. Haraka ni 
So we have filed for review before the same Supreme Court. We have filed also before the East African Court of Justice. And I want to tell also Kenyans, because see what we're talking about in Sharia, yeah? The East African Court of Justice is recognized by our Constitution and Article 2, sub Article 4 and 5. Yeah? All the international treaties, international laws are being recognized. We are a member of the East African community, so we fall under that category. Sometimes some must be Sonko Kwisha, so that is the end of Sonko, including new media. It is the start of Sonko, not the end of Sonko. Because we have been denied justice by how the Chief Justice conducted herself in this case. Then he came post, as my son was in the media complaining about my conduct, complaining about the remarks she made on a public uh, TV and radio station, and the gender yeah. So that was not fair. We did be given time to file all our evidence. Namina Jua, they are covering those clips, they are very dirty clips. This judge really complicated his colleagues. He was acting as a broker of the judges. Not all the judges, the judges were very good. The magistrates were very good, they follow the law. They come up with an interest, we them approach judge, judge and the magistrate and the no. Somebody approach me on this case, I don't want. I'm recusing myself. That is the law we want. Mother Koma is not above the law. Yeah? It's not above the law. I'm, I'm, I'm consulting. I might also be forced to file a complaint against the JSC. And she must accuse herself with the JSC when her complaint goes there. Yeah. Because there is evidence. Yeah. Evidence. And is there any other question? <coughs> Just a question. Uh, are you saying that you are not given enough time to. Uh, yes file uh, your submissions at uh, the Supreme Court? Yes, we are not given time. As per the judgment of the preliminary objection, the judges are saying my appeal was filed on time, page 3. I want to take you there. Yeah? I want to take you there. We now determine as follows. Yeah? I'll skip because of time. There is also no doubt that the appeal that file is petition of appeal on this court's online platform on 4th of April 2022. Why they didn't pick up this case since, for, since April? Why now they're not being cleared by IDC? Okay, after they picked the case, you are funny, fair hearing. Why don't give me fair hearing? And you are part of the evidence. If you're the one who uh, forwarded the summary, of your judgment as the head of the Judicial Service Commission to the President, and the President took action. It means the evidence I had was sufficient. Then why refuse me to bring that evidence before the Supreme Court? Yeah. This judge messed with my impeachment. I was a witness. I testified. My testimony, my evidence made me forward the findings of the President. The President found this judge was guilty. He suspended him. He formed a tribunal. Why are they blocking that evidence? Because the clips were there, they are dirty. We are, there are clips even judges transacting in chambers. Dollars, money. Even they were arrested with money on their pockets. Because they are in school fees. These are the pesos. They are in the widow, they are in the house, they are in the house. If a person like me can be denied justice, where are we heading as a country? I still have my political muscles. So this is wrong. My, my, my last question. Uh, we know that uh, the Supreme Court did not pronounce itself on whether an impeached governor is uh, free to vie for any political seat after he's impeached. And uh, going to that, we know that you still have the certificate. Have you communicated to IBC or IBC? Has it communicated to you in terms of trying to revoke that certificate after yesterday's ruling? No, you see, at the moment I'm dealing with my effect. I cannot allow one person to mess with my life. Even if I'm found guilty, let us deal with the law. I filed my appeal since April. Why now that I've been cleared, I, some few days after I've been cleared, you want to expedite this appeal? You want us to do everything at midnight? Okay, check our diary. Give us a free debt, which we are not busy, but we're in Mombasa, with all the lawyers. By that time we're in Mombasa, you're telling us to file hard copies. And all the lawyers and clerks are in Mombasa for the hearing of the IBC case. And if they have admitted, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving any evidence here. They admitted 
We apologize. This is the Supreme Court telling me as a pensioner. We are sorry. We didn't know that we'll not find further evidence. So we apologize. But that being the situation, we must proceed at all costs. We must proceed at all costs. Whose interest were they serving? I'm a total fair hearing. I'm a Kenyan. Whether I have cases, I'm a Kenyan. These are all political cases. I should be given time to defend myself in any court of law. Has the IBC contacted you in terms of their, their certificate? No, IBC are parties to this case. Uh, then it's an independent body. But what we know as of now, I still have an active appeal. Yeah? By yesterday, I didn't have any appeal. Yeah? I didn't have any appeal. And I want to give an example. Mother Kome, not, I'm sorry, I'm confusing these two names. Mother Karua, when she filed a case against Anwa Guru and Anthony General, at IBC that time, she didn't get justice in the country over some issues of costs. She lost in the High Court. Mother Karua lost in the Court of Appeal. Mother Karua lost in the Supreme Court. But she got justice as a East African Court of Justice. And it is also captured in the Kenyan Constitution. So whoever is saying that is the end of Sonko, he's lying. It is the start of Sonko. Because I have an active appeal also now. Another one, a fresh one. Yes. So that's why they see you. Well, well, as I'm a sister, Papa Lady. Don't you feel delayed by the various courts that you are facing? It, it depends. For instance, Kama Hikesi, it depends. Whether his case is in the letter, whether it's in the matter. One million percent, they are political cases. And I, want, I don't want to go to the menace because I have a lot of respect. Actually, in the one that my majesty took up, I didn't know what I was going to say. But the law is also very clear. You cannot be convicted on hearsay evidence. All the allegations in my political impeachment were politically instigated. You all, you all saw the day the Senate was closing for the, for, the, for, the, for the season, before the elections. All senators, including ODM senators, Tangatanga, I mean Kenyakwanda senators, uh, ODM senators, including Kenyakwanda and Senator Mazao, who is a former judge, they are saying my impeachment was wrong. One of the senators said it was acquired through bribery. Because I differed with some state officers, I mean government officers. And the cases of abuse of office are still pending before the anti corruption courts. The only person who was convicted, 67 years, was well looking. In fact, Kesi Yangu, me raise the idea that we have a particular guilty na akafungwa. First, there was no quorum in the county assembly. I had over 60 MCAs in, 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 in Kuala. Yeah. First we were over 100. 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 So there was no quorum. There was no roll call. If you vote, there's more some, uh, maybe the joke, Mawara, the Dorai Award, I pick a normal yes. There was nothing like of the sort in the, in the country assembly. Yeah. So there was no public participation. And the, the same presiding judge, this is what he was telling us. But I can understand that he co captured beating me, or telling the judge, and I will be close to all the people who are in the country. And I'm going to go back to see Sonko. I'm going to go back to the Majina. I'm going to go the move of the impeachment. I'm going to go back to the one lawyer who is a legal account of 300 million. I'm going to go back to the Majina. I'm going to go back to the Majina. And there was another matter, you want to young boy impeachment, the case of Shama, there was an issue at the photo of a pill. He told us, we are going to find a photo of a pill, we are going to find a photo of a pill. And I did it in the night, and I did it in the night, and I did it in the night, and I did it in the night. A whole judge of the high court. So all the other cases, they were blocking because Nicola Barua had come to Patribino Lupia to draw evidence. Hello. So they can also be trying to sanitize one of their own. Why are we talking evidence here? Because we're going to have to go to the elections now. We 
practitioner, bring your father's submissions. There's a video case, there's a president that, that, that was set. I said a law firm, a lawyer, sought for leave in the Supreme Court, in the Court of Appeal, to find additional evidence. It's allowed, it's in the law. Yeah. So that was, we were supposed to do that. Your are going to find to the seek for leave of the court, to bring further evidence of how the high, the high court judge messed with my impeachment. And I'm going to be a on the deal now, Court of Appeal. We are going to be the best was well, someone who did the was a case of fish. So that we give all our evidence instead of ending my life there. And they know the technicalities which were there. And they want to repeat myself. One, Master Kome took part, took sides. Yeah, by commenting on public TV. She defied her own order she issued during the Supreme Court BBI case. Another technicality, this is like forgery they did. This is like forgery. And I will all people to report statements here. Why third parties, the matter will be heard by a five judge bench. Then without giving another notice of telling us the bench will be changed to seven, we are not a seven bench judge. That's also a technicality and it is wrong. This is misleading. Why lie to Kenyans that are convicted? Member of Parliament, or in which government is not supposed to vie. While the constitution in Ogeki begin it, it means that a constitution by like So she's not above the law. They have infringed my rights. I have the right of complaining. As I wait for the next course of action, which we have already filed. So in short, you are not giving up? I'm not giving up. Ni mezulumi, why should I give up? When I have time, a fair hearing, Fair trial, but a fair justice. But a fair justice. And you may not be able to say, Judge Asama, Judge Mandiapa, congratulations. Remember, my judgment was read at 10 p.m. Remember, there is one judge who refused to be with, the, with his colleagues. Look at this Supreme Court ruling. There are three judges who are not involved in writing of the judgment. They have just seen a second saying, these other ones, they will write their judgment later, but they are concurring with us. Something is wrong somewhere. Something is wrong somewhere. Now, like again, Kesi to Beskisa Leo, over 14 parties, prepared a ruling in Keshwaki. My appeal has been there since April. I don't know who is before elections, the party budget. Why now that I've been cleared, I'm not going to be able to get the party budget. I'm not Sandy Governor. Because, uh, uh, your time, eh? your time. Mm -hmm.